Okay, so 8.1 and 8.2 are basically the same. They just want you to balance the equation. So I'm going to show you one example of what balanced equation looks like. So if you have, this is 1 CA and 2 BR. So if you have, on, and then if you look on the other side, there's 1 CA and 2, and two beryllium. Yeah, beryllium. So, yeah, see how it's balanced? You have the same number of each on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to balance one that's unbalanced. Okay, right here. So there's, it, it looks like this, P4 plus O2, P4, O10. Okay, so you're gonna, okay, so here there's, there's um, P4 and O2, but here there's P4 and O10. So in order, <coughs> excuse me. In order to get the 10 over here, you have to put, here, let's erase this. You have to put a 5 before it, because 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. So now your equation is balanced. Okay, now let's do another equation. Okay, so let's do, we're still on 8.8 .8, by the way, it's on page 246, um, let's do C, C is C4 H8 plus O2 C O two plus H two O. Okay, so there's another way you could like if you don't get what I was saying before, you could just do C H O and make a little table. So ugh. okay. So on this side we have four. Over here we have 8 and we have 2. On this side we have 1, we have 2 hydrogens, and C1 plus this, so we have 3. <coughs> okay, so if we multiply, if we put a 4 in front of this, then it becomes It would become oops. that would match up, and then four times two is eight plus one nine. Okay, and then <coughs> oh wait, my goodness, why did I put H there? We have two hydrogens. Sorry. I'm losing it. Okay, so if you want to get 8, we're going to put a 4 over here. So it's going to be 4, it's going to be 8 hydrogens. And then 4 times 4 is, sorry, 8 plus 4, 12. And then right here, you're going to put a 6 because you want to get the 12 oxygen. Oh, wait, ooh, let me just put a 1 in front of that. Okay. So now you, everything is balanced. I know, it's a little, it's a little tricky. Or like complicated, but you know, you'll, you'll get it. Okay. Let's do another... Let's do the last one in 8.8. Okay, Actually, let's not do that one, because that one looks difficult. Okay, let's do an easier one. 
let's do let's do all of 8.7 okay so a n nitrogen is going to plus oxygen is equal to should actually you should probably put this in front of it so that you can put your number there in and oh okay so there's two nitrogens two oxygens so all you would have to do here is put the two here to make it balance because you want you see there's two two there's two nitrogens two oxygens two nitrogens two oxygens because you were okay so with this it would be and two o oh, two because you distribute the this the two so if it were like let's say three and two o oh, two it would be n six o oh, six because you're distributing the three and you would multiply it you always multiply it. Okay, let's do, let's do B. Ooh, ooh. Okay. My pen is acting up. Okay, H, G, O is equal to H, Hey. H. Okay, I'm sorry, my pen is like having a stroke. Plus O2. Two. two. Okay. So there's one, whatever this is, HG plus oxygen. So if you put a 2 in front of this, you're going to get 2HG plus. 2HgO2, so you have your O2, so then you would put a 2 in front of this as well, so that you have 2HG and 2O2, and then see, this would equal, the same thing, okay, let's, okay, let's look for a difficult one, because these are too easy. Let's see. Okay, let's do eight, eight, twelve. I'm gonna do. Let's do D. Okay. No wait, not D. Sorry, let's do B. B no, let's do C. Okay. So it's B C L three. Okay, so this is eight twelve. Um we have Okay, so we have one B, three CLs, one hydrogen, and one oxygen. So we have one, over here we have three hydrogens, one B, three oxygens, one H, one hydrogen, and one CL, one chloride. Okay. So if we do, let's, actually let's make a table because it's going to be easier for this. B, C, L, H, O. Ugh. Okay, on this side we have one, three, two, and one. And then over here we have three, one, three, Oh, I'm sorry, we have four on this side. 
uh, and then one. <coughs> okay, so let's start with the hydrogens. Let's do. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so if we do two here, then it becomes B two C L six. And if we do six here, then it goes Six and hydrogen six plus three and nine. Okay, and then hmm. Okay, let's do Wait, did I? Okay, I did that. Okay, so let's multiply this by 2. So I would have H6B2O6. Okay, so now it's going to be 6 plus 6, 12. B is 2. And six is, and it always now going to be six. Okay, so now it's going to do, okay, let's do, so now if we put six over here, it's going to be, hydrogen's going to be 12, and oxygen will be six. Okay, so now, if it asks you for atoms, these are going to be your atoms. So B will have two atoms. Um, chlor chloride will have six. Um, hydrogen will have 12, and oxygen will have six. So, yeah, that's basically it.